Now we're sure late night. Nothing but illustrious guests. Mero, who's in the building today? Oh, man, you peeped the IMDb. It's longer than a CVS receipt, y'all. Miles Teller <laughs> is in the building. You know what I'm saying? He's up next. He's been here. He's here mm. in the studio, in the bodega. You might know him from a little movie, you know, Top Gun. You know what I'm saying? You know, I just had some, uh, you know, moderate success. It's doing, it's doing all right. It's doing all right. How it's you feel? How you right. feel? You, you hope it gets better? You hope the numbers go up? I mean, it's... Uh, no, I mean, no, I, no, no, it's a blockbuster. Yeah. And it's wild because there hasn't been a blockbuster like this. It's like very reminiscent of movies back in the day. Sure, yeah. Like Independence Day, those larger-than-life movies. Yeah. Well, I think it's, you know, Tom, I think, always treats his audience with a high level of respect. There's a reason why he's been the biggest movie star in the world mm -hmm. since the original came out in 1986. Right. His, his dedication to the craft and his appreciation for people going to see movies, that's that's something he takes with a, you know, heft amount of responsibility. Right. Yeah. So as like a veteran actor like as yourself, yeah. what's it like to work with like a young up-and-comer like Tom Cruise? <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, I mean, honestly, he's, um, he's just very disarming, man. Like he feels, you know, he's he's your teammate. Yeah. When you're doing a movie with Tom, that's how he treats you, like, like a teammate, which coming from sports background, that's how, that's all I like to work too, man. We're all trying to do this thing same together. Thing. So, same yeah. project together. Yeah, yeah. You were really flying those planes? No, thank God, no. But we're <laughs> but we're actually we're in them for real. No, I was yeah. watching it and I was like, yeah. how the I was like, how the fuck did they film this? Because yeah. like, how'd you get the cameras in there? So they put they designed it. Originally, they didn't think that we'd be able to get like one camera in the cockpit. Mm -hmm. And Claudio, um, our cinematographer, he was able to get six in there. So there's four cameras on our face. And then there's two over the shoulder on the on the real pilot. And what's it like yeah. being in those planes? Cause I they're scary as shit. It's a lot, dude. I mean, honestly, it's like, first of all, it's it's super uncomfortable. It's just all metal. There's mm -hmm. nothing, there's nothing comfortable. Like you can let the armrest. So you're but saying they, it's not like Delta One? No, it's not. Well, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I mean, it's like I'm sure there's some airlines where you're like, okay, yeah, this is. Uh, I mean, it's, it's better than similar. spirit, right? Yeah. <laughs> Big uh, Ryan Air energy. Yeah, but no, but actually in in the cockpit, I was surprised. There's um, they have like they still have ashtrays in there because oh, apparently shit. back in the day, like you just be smoking the badass the fighter pilots would be. I mean, you could even still smoke in submarines up until a couple years ago because they had all the exhaust from um, you know in the okay. kitchen. And apparently the food's the best on subs too because they get like an extra I think dollar twenty per service member, and that goes towards the food. So you can do a lot with a dollar twenty more. Per person, so I'm, yeah, I'm sure it's like probably some good stuff. Some good I mean, during my stuff. broke days, it was like yeah, that, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Churrasco, <laughs> you know what I'm go to bodega, yeah. get a sandwich, get a buttered roll. Oh yeah, we were talking about Michael B uh, earlier before we started rolling the cameras. Yeah, and when I worked with him, we used to call him Michael B Deli because he could go into any bodega and yes. he would have you try something that I was like, no way, that's gonna taste good, and it would just be. Did you have his bagel? Huh? Did you have the, his specialty bagel? Because he, he brought it for us. With the cream cheese, and bacon, bacon, and jelly? Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. I was yeah. like, this is going to be what's disgusting. The, what's what's the the it? <laughs> it's going to be nasty. Oh, my God. It was good. The salt and the sweet. Yeah, but sweet Michael sweet. B. Mm -hmm. Deli, that's his. <laughs> Michael B. Deli. Michael B. That's Deli. Shout to the homie. Yeah, yeah, yeah wow. for sure. So that your viral moment. Yeah. The dance moves. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, where'd they come from? You just you just, you just, just be dancing? Um, That was a move that me and my buddies like would just bust out at parties and shit because I think it's, for me, dancing's always been, a, don't take yourself too seriously. Right. So yeah, so have that, fun with it. So that was like, honestly, I'm sure people could find it online, but I always knew that dance is like the weekend at Bernie's dance. Right. Where you're like kind of dead and you're just, you know, <laughs> moving the shoulders. Back. So, but to be fair, like in the beach, when we did that scene, nobody knew when the camera was on them because we just kind of did some stuff. Just and they playing. were just running it. So I had no idea that, you know, they even caught that moment. One, one of my favorite lines from that is when John Hamm comes up. He's like, what are they doing here? What's, who's winning? And Tom goes, I think they stopped keeping score a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Just to sh You see Tom as like a dad in that moment. Yeah. It's one of my favorite performances. And does that boost you? Like to, you know what I mean? Like how they put, to put it in like basketball terms, like he makes the team, the players around him oh, better. Oh, for sure, yeah. No, I mean, I think that's, I think that's important. Like I always feel like if I'm in a scene, you know, I want to be a point guard. And there's times when you break down a scene, it's like, all right, this character needs to win here. Maybe right. maybe it's me. Like, certain people are going to be driving a scene at different times. But if it's not me, then, like, I want you to, I want to serve you up. I want to, I want to help you do that. Yeah, yam it. I want you to yam it. <laughs> yam it. <laughs> oh. I should be able to dunk. That's something I've never been able to do. I'm 6'1". Like, I should You can't dunk? I should have been. Can you? 
I used to. I used to be able to. Yeah, hundred pounds. hundred pounds ago, I could. Damn it! See, like I hundred pounds of one point. When I played basketball, I was oh damn yeah. What position did you play when you played basketball? I was super tiny, man. So I was a point guard. I didn't hit my growth spurt till like senior year, and then at that point, I was just playing baseball kind of year round. So what position were you playing baseball? Uh, up the middle, second base, short stuff. Yeah, okay, all right. That's, that's, a, about that's, that's a real position. That's yeah, a real position. Yeah, that's that's a position. Gotta, no what, right fielding. No, you got to get the middle. You got to have lateral uh, quickness, Papa. You got to move side to side. You know. So after so. Sports, music, like yeah. how did acting come in the mix? Like you were just like, yo, one day, like I'm into a school play, or is it one of those stories? Or kind of like I, yeah, when I was in second grade, I think I did like a school play. Never really thought about it. I was like a class clown, and mm -hmm. you know, I love sports, so I wanted to go. I wanted to go to like Syracuse for broadcast journalism. Choose, choose, like, choose. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to be like, like a, a sports center, <laughs> um, you know, like sports center anchor and this and that. And then when I was in high school, buddy, I played baseball with just said he was going to audition for a play, mm -hmm. and he was my ride home from school. So I said, all right, and. And then, yeah, he got the lead. I got, like, the buddy. And, and then I got into it because I felt like it was a good way for me to make people last, laugh but without getting sent to the principal's office. Uh, Smart. Spiderhead. Yeah. What's the, the, the easiest explanation for those who are not familiar? Okay, yeah, so I play an inmate. His name is Jeff. He's basically patient zero at this facility mm -hmm. that is run by Chris Hemsworth. Oh. Everybody that's there is basically an inmate. Instead of going to prison for a crime that they committed, they voluntarily... Um, come to this program right. where Chris gets to experiment drugs on you. And it can be a criticism on kind of the, the prison system that we have, mm -hmm. because if we're, if we send people to prison and they say, oh, well, we're, you're there to reform. So you come out and you can be a contributing citizen. That's not how it goes. Right. You know, you don't go to prison, come out of, you know, oh. better person. It's better grad thing. school. It's, yeah, you know <laughs> it's what I mean? Like, you level up. Yeah, they're not. You level up. <laughs> 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 you get more Listen, you HP. go from a 101 <laughs> to a 207. You learn new skills. You learn oh, new crimes. It's like achievement unlocked. You went there on like a credit card license. Fraud. You come back. You know how to like make fake passwords. Insurance fraud. Achievement unlocked. No. <laughs> Money laundering. Achievement unlocked. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's right. went up by plus <laughs> three. It's like a post game. Like here. you're playing the show. Yeah. Like yo, you improve your stats. You're just grinding all night. Like yeah, bro. Play show. Oh yeah. Yeah, me too. All the time. What platform are you playing it on? Uh, I mean, I was next. Xbox guy forever, but and now I'm I'm, I'm doing the PlayStation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I had yeah. to too. I had to. Yeah, all my yeah. friends are like, get a PlayStation, man! I, I was like, I know. fine. I finally fine. did. You have a liquor? Yeah, I do. You have a, was it long beer? No, it's, it's long it's, drink. Long drink. Long drink. Did you bring some? Oh, I just so happened to have some. <laughs> wow! And I got <laughs> yeah. Hey. Yeah. Now, what is the history of long drink? Because that sounds like some weird thing my aunt would say. Would you like a long drink? I actually, I actually don't fucking know. No, I'm joking. So they, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's the, they, yeah, I tried it in New York, but it's, when you go to Finland, it's basically like the national beverage of Finland. Mm -hmm. It's a mixture of gin Shout and drinking berry. Shout out to Finland. But to be fair, like I've, I mean, I've never really put my name on anything mm -hmm. because I just, it feels, I feel like people are tired of being sold to just because you're a good actor doesn't mean I want to try your lotion or whatever. Right. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, Yo, I love doing Top Gun. I'm yeah. gonna fuck with your hemorrhoid cream. <laughs> yeah. Have you sat many hours in a uncomfortable in a cockpit? In a cockpit? <laughs> Preparation H. <age. laughs> uh, what else are you working on right now? Then I don't know, man. Like I've been working and kind of doing the pressing for a while. So hopefully, I mean, a if, break? if the right thing comes along, you know, I'll do it tomorrow. Right. But right now, that right thing hasn't come along. So I've kind of planned some, you know, stuff with my family and my wife, and oh, yeah. you know, you just gotta get. Because when you how film, do you, you don't get any of that. Yeah, you don't get to see them. How do you relax after, like, spending so much time making a movie? Like, do you, you go on a wait? Little MLB show, show? sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. yeah. The basement, lock, yeah. locked in. I do have a theater room, and me and my, my buddies will just, we'll just uh, FaceTime and, and play it. Okay, like, theater room. Yeah. We're not familiar. What do, but, what do we need? What's the five things you need in your theater room? Oh, I actually have one of those, it seems gimmicky, but one of those like carnival kind of popcorn machines. That's good. That is that's that nice. is nice. It'll burn the shit out of you. Yeah, <laughs> if you touch it. Yo, know, just like every time I think I have it figured out, I fuck it up and burn. It's like hot. Yeah. <laughs> what, what kind of what kind of theater seats are we talking? Are we talking about gamer chairs or like movie no, theaters? I mean, this came with the house, so I didn't even have to set it up. But yeah, it's like some nice leather chairs that recline, cup holder, and then I can actually put like a, a tray. That kind of, you know, okay. sits wow. right there. So that's your exhaust fan. My wife put a very, like, one of her modeling photos in there where she looks very sexy. I was like, baby, why are you putting this down here? It's like me and my boys were just hanging out, playing video games. And she's like, that's why I put it down there. So, you know, you're always, I'm always there. But, you know. <laughs> I'm watching the eyes move. <laughs> yeah. She's behind the yeah. wall, like, yo. Yeah. yeah. Listen, everyone that comes, you are an illustrious guest. Everyone yeah. that comes to the bodega right. gets a neon sign. Right. What would you like your neon sign to say? 
No bullshit. No bullshit. No bullshit. We can drink to that. Come in my bodega, but there's no bullshit allowed in here. <laughs> Close to that. Cheers. Get up for the homie Mozzella in the building. Check out Top Gun. This is an independent theater near you. You gotta go to an the Angelica to see it. Yeah, no, my boy was like, yo, you gotta go yeah. see it in 4DX, bro. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, I was yeah. like, no, you gotta see it in IMAX. It moves and all that stuff. It moves stuff and the like, water sprays bro, and shit. Like, I don't need my movie to like miss me. Spray, spray me in the face. <laughs> First of all, where's water coming from? <laughs> You know what is I mean? Is this recycled? Like, what is that? Bro, when the, the chairs started moving in yeah. IMAX, I was like, holy shit. Did you was, see it in 4DX? Yeah. Oh, nice. Bro. It was a lot. It was cool? It was a lot. It was a lot, though? It was a lot. Also, because I was Did it on, feel like a shitty amusement park ride? Or actually, no, I was like, on an edible, so I was scared Oh, okay, shit. cool. Like, I thought I was, like, in the movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, <laughs> like, when they were like, yo, the missile has to go in a box, I was like, I don't know what the controls How are. How we gonna get it in I the box? Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> help me to the box. I wasn't trained enough What's for this. Box? I wasn't trained enough for this. John Hamm, help me. <laughs> you up for the homie, my child in the bed. Oh, we're still rolling. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs>Yo, welcome to the official Deez and Mero YouTube channel. Like, comment, and subscribe to see some dope content that you can only get here. Mm -hmm. Sit back, you know what I'm saying? Watch a video or two or three or five. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you want to do. You can take your pants on or off.